Welcome to your Drawfee, where we take your dumb ideas and make even dumber drawings. I'm Julia. I'm Nathan. I'm Jacob. And I'm Karina. We got a wonderful suggestion. Ooh, oh, do we? Do we now? Yes. Wonderful. Well, how wonderful. A suggestion. The poster of the post <laughs> that says the suggestion <laughs> of the thing. Of the post. Of the post, uh-huh. of the thing that we are drawing today. The okay, poster. listen, they're calling me out right now because I stumbled on my words before the episode and I maybe said poster and post too many times and it didn't make any sense. It, well, was, it, it made can, sense to it me. It made sense to you, yeah. And that's all no that really matters. It, it didn't matter that I was confused. But you know what does matter? The poster of the post. The poster of the post. Who was the poster of the post this time? The poster of the post. It's a good title. You know, like a, like a rank <laughs> of someone. You can put that on your resume. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Turn I says, I'm rewatching the characters from Weird Plant Names episode and thinking, what about weird mushroom names? There are some wild ones out there. Mm. Ooh, I bet they're even weirder than plant names. Wild mushrooms. Whoa. Yes. Let's go foraging for some names. <laughs> That's my like- foraging noise. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> What'd you find? Your arms are moving Dirt. so quickly. <laughs> Our apartment's filthy now. Yeah. It's just full of dirt. <laughs> You're welcome. We live underground. <laughs> Which is why Jacob doesn't want anyone else to live there. Mm. Nathan. Yeah. <laughs> are you ready? Oh yeah. For your name? Yeah. What I would like for you to draw. <laughs> Yeah. Nah. There it is. <laughs> yeah. I would like for you to draw uh-huh. puffball in aspic. Puffball in aspic? Yes. Puffball in puff aspic. Ball. Yes. What's an aspic? Yeah, what's a... <laughs> <laughs> aspic is like a puff It's like ball. a it's a it's a savory like jelly. The British love oh. to put yeah. like meats and jelly. I okay. always get it twisted because it sounds like it would kill you. Like the name sounds like poison. Well, it sounds like it acid. Sounds like like a- arsenic. Acid. And acid. Yeah. <laughs> acidic arsenic. Yeah, it sounds like acidic <laughs> arsenic. And I'm like, why would you eat that? That sounds like it would hurt you. So he's in, he's in savory jelly. Yeah, yeah. Oh. but it's aspic and it's apparently tasty. Do you, can I tell you where my mind went? Please. Yeah. So puffball. <laughs> yeah. 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 Horton. Here's a who? Yeah. Mm-hmm. He's carrying around the thing that the Lorax lives on or whatever. <laughs> the who's live on it. The Lorax <laughs> the doesn't who, live the on Lorax it. The Lorax is a who. who. Who lives on there? Don't. Lorax. I'm not doing this with you, Nathan. Okay. <laughs> I'm not who's on firsting with you. Who's on Horton? Who's on Horton? Who, who's Horton here? No, it's... <laughs> Horton here's who? So Horton going to a party. Going to a, a potluck is like... Is he going to serve up the whole society of like Whoville in jelly and have people eat it? Whoa. Yeah. This I didn't realize that's where I was going. This is Karibo. Yeah. Yeah, you're drawing Karibo. I was waiting for Julia to finish wherever her mind went. I don't think it went anywhere <laughs> it went to a potluck and you're drawing Karibo. I thought I took what Julia was saying to its logical conclusion, but then Julia seemed really surprised by what I said. I mean, what you did say was pretty fucked up. But what else could it be if Horton is bringing this to a potluck and it's in savory jelly? This is a Karibo. Why would Horton have a Karibo? Ask Julia. Do you think that Horton plays the blues? Guess who? Yu-Gi-Oh. Yu-Gi-Oh? <laughs> <laughs> Julia! <laughs> All right, I'd like to address... Most offended Karina's <laughs> ever been by anything anyone's ever said. Friendship has ended with yeah, Karina. <laughs> this is where I draw the line. <laughs> we, there were three allegations made against Horton just now. Yeah. Does he play the blues? Does he play guess who? And does he play Yu-Gi-Oh? So we need to come up with an answer. Excuse you. Yeah. It's, does he play dot, dot, dot? Question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> yeah. Oh, Yu Gi Oh. Does he play the blues? I don't think so. Anyone have any counter arguments? <laughs> no. Well, I guess he can't hold an instrument, huh? Yeah, he's holding the entire society of Whoville. Yeah, yeah. if he drops that, everyone's dead. Yeah, <laughs> what if it gets stuck in his <laughs> saxophone? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
would suck. But we don't know what type of like susical ass instruments exist in the world that he could be playing with like his butt or his feet or something. Two saxophones. Yeah, what if he's yeah. playing that one that's like a, it's like a five person band and it's like, like a bicycle. Yeah, yeah, you're yeah, like yeah. Pedaling and stomping. Yeah. But yeah. I don't think you can play the blues on that. Here's a question. Mm -hmm. The instrument... <laughs> That the chimney sweep guy in Mary Poppins is playing. His like his like one man band thing or the broom? Are we talking one man band part or broom part? Uh, the one man band. Yeah. That's a real. Is that like a who? Is that? That's a, that's Whoville for sure. <laughs> that's not Whoville. That's Whoville, dude. That's unrelated to Whoville. What's Horton look like? He's like an um, elephant with elephant. sad eyes. Yeah. He got like yeah. He's got like. He's like an elephant with anxiety. He's got like eyelashes, right? Like yeah. all the. Horton has prominent eyelashes. It's so yeah. that if the people fall off <laughs> the puffball of the world, they can live on his eyelashes because they're so small. <laughs> It's a whole society on his eyelashes. Horton is looking at this puff all the way I look at a freshly opened anime figure of one of my favorite characters. <laughs> you frown? <laughs> you frown at it? Oh, I didn't see that line. <laughs> you kind of have a half-lidded look of disgust. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? For some of them, yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. You disgust me, you say. Yeah, one of these. Like tufts. It's disgusting how sexy and expensive you are. <laughs> <laughs> now get on the shelf. <laughs> get in the Beautiful cabinet. creature. <laughs> <laughs> You're never leaving. You live here now and I will gaze upon you whenever I please. <laughs> What's Horton feeling here, Nathan? I'm having trouble placing this emotion. I... Is this displeasure? Disappointure? Disappointment. <laughs> He's tired. Well, yeah, I think he, you know, he just finished hearing the Who, <laughs> and then he heard this puff ball inside uh, the ass spick. He was oh. listening to the band, and the he's who? like, "I guess, am I? Do I have to?" I was enjoying my day listening to the Who. <laughs> now I gotta go to this damn potluck party. I forgot yeah. to make a dish. I mean, to be fair, that is a humongous jar of ass pick. Yeah, it's like and, the size of his head, and he's probably really tired of carrying it. It's heavy. Yeah. Here's a question. Uh-huh. Here it comes. <laughs> the question. Important. Yeah. Here, yeah. Here's a Yeah. Go on. Here's a question. Yeah. If Horton, here's a question. We're ready. If, if Horton were to go to potluck and he had to actually cook something. What is this pot shit with the potluck you're so hung up on? <laughs> Well, he can't cook. What's the question? <laughs> Important. <laughs> what is he bringing? <laughs> Booze. Yeah. That's what you bring when you don't well, cook. Well, I feel yeah. like he could make a mean guac because he could crush the avocados. Oh, sure. And, you know, squeeze the lime. But like with his feet? He's an elephant. What yeah. if you don't want to eat like foot avocados. <laughs> what if he puts gloves on first? <laughs> Number 15. <laughs> foot guacamole. Foot guaca Horton's foot guacamole. He could crush <laughs> he could crush some nuts. Hey, crush these hey, nuts. I'm here, I'm here at the potluck. I brought crushed nuts. <laughs> Everyone's favorite dish. A bowl of crushed nuts. <laughs> This is. I haven't had to think of a single thing to draw. Y'all have been. Y'all have just been suggesting. Here's the guacamole that he crushed Don't himself. Don't forget the crushed nuts on the guacamole. There, there, yeah, there, there's some. Yeah, the nuts are crushed on top. Some great British Bake Off shit. Be sure to leave yourself a note that it's crushed nuts, because otherwise you're gonna think that's like little tomatoes or peppers or something. Or cookie dough. Yeah, that this is crushed crush nut guacamole. <laughs> Next time I go to a potluck, I'm gonna bring a bowl of raw cookie dough. Are you done? I th I think I'm. I think the, the energy. <laughs> looking at each other. Yeah. <laughs> He's looking at the guacamole. He's looking at the puff ball. The and together, this is a delicious mushroom. I bet this is a puff ball <laughs> in aspic, or maybe yeah. it's a. Is it is it an edible mushroom or? This kind of is how i look at my favorite anime figurine inside of the jar and they look back if at you, you know you know well, they don't they don't make eye contact with you they look at something else yeah they can't see through the jar anyway what's the mushroom yeah tell us about the mushroom i would love to tell you about the mushroom but will you although eaten or used in folk medicine in some areas it is typically considered inedible okay 
So it, wait. Society first, says it's inedible. Sentence one said, although eaten, and then in the end of the sentence said, it's inedible. Well, it's considered inedible. But, but someone's so, eating it. So, yeah. It's cookie dough. Oh, it's like cookie dough. It's like cookie, cookie dough. dough. It's inedible, it's edible, but you can but eat it. it. We'll give you salmonella. Yeah. 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 Guaranteed. The <laughs> This is really funny. It's also just like the, the grossest looking mushroom I've ever seen. Yeah, I want to see what it looks oh, like, please. Can I see? Do you? Are you sure? Yeah. I want to. Um, yeah. We're, I want to say gonna, a warning, like right up top. We're gonna need to flash. Yeah. The is picture this one of those screen. whole mushrooms? It kind of looks like it looks like a booba that some passion fruit seeds are coming out of. Oh. oh, interesting. So the stalk is all this gelatinous jelly thing, which is what the aspic comes from. Oh. That's the puffball. And then the puffball's the top. They couldn't the call it. the titty. They couldn't yeah. call it a, a booba in aspic. That's true. You it also kind of looks like a bow bun. Aspic. You mean pomegranate seeds. Pomegranate, what did I say? Passion fruit seeds. But those are pomegranate seeds for sure. They are pretty pomegranate-y, yeah. Yeah. Well, Just wanted to clarify for the okay. viewers. Someone else. Me. Draw. Jacob, your mushroom is called the Euro Spindle Shank Colibia. <laughs> the Euro? Like European? Yeah. Euro Spindle Shank. Like Skimble Shank. Skimble Shanks. This episode is not free. <laughs> <laughs> so Cats 2019 discussion just... Add it to the playlist. Yeah, just yep, add it to the <laughs> Cats 2019 playlist the count now because yeah. it's only going to get worse from here. What's the last part? Calabia. 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 That's a Calabita. I don't know. Does spindle anyone know? Shanks. Calabia. Yeah, spin Euro spindle shank. Excuse yeah. you. Euro beat skimble shanks, but he's spinning like Sonic the Hedgehog. It's called free association. Colibia, by the way, is just a genus of mushroom. Okay. That's oh, kind of what I figured. So it's a mushroom. So it is a mushroom. This mushroom is a type of mushroom. This mushroom, yeah. this this mushroom is a mushroom. This mushroom is named after a type of mushroom. Are you, are you telling me this mushroom's kind of a mushroom? <laughs> I thought it was a booba. <laughs> okay, we can do this. Yeah. Oh, this is a good... Can we? We're oh, gonna this, get... Is that a whisker? Yeah. Is this a spin? This is gonna be a, a spin. Oh yeah! Like we're gonna go like this is the this is the back, right? Yeah. yeah. And it's this gonna is be already such a dynamic pose. Sort of. This is gonna be going out back this way, oh, like uh -huh. doing yeah. a Outback Steakhouse. Yeah, Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> 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 He's giving us the Texas Something Longhorns like... right now. This. Yeah, that's what they do. <laughs> yeah. At Outback Steakhouse, they do the Texas Longhorns. Yeah, the one time I went to an Outback Steak Horn in Texas. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was Outback a little something like this. <laughs> yeah. 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 Okay, and then I mean, obviously, the body goes into like a sort of Tasmanian devil esque tornado oh okay. yeah okay right yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like a worm <laughs> it's not a worm it's like a tasmanian devil-esque tornado yeah <laughs> this looks like a sausage <laughs> yeah it is kind of giving heidi klum worm costume <laughs> yeah, oh kind of giving worm. <laughs> i'll do i'll do better i'll do better yeah. I'm sorry. Calabia sounds like something a surfer would yell. <laughs> Calabia. <laughs> <laughs> what does Tasmanian Devil's tornado look like? Um, like a tornado. It was like that, but like more gestury. Yeah. Tasmanian. Less. Yeah, yours like, was very structured, you, which you is what turned real, it into a worm. Yeah, some real shapely lumps. How about <laughs> shut shut up? Just like Fergie used to sing about <laughs> just some real shapely lumps. <laughs> okay, so more like my shapely apely lumps. <laughs> Check it out. Check it, check it out. <laughs> this is kind of, it's interesting the way they do this. You ever really looked at the Tasmanian Devil's Tornado? No, because it's always spinning yeah, so fast. I've always heard that you get cursed if you look directly at it. It's disrespectful. It's kind of You can't it's just look cool. at his tornado. You you can. Go ahead. Yeah. No, it's rude. It's, it's right there. Oh. He's, he's not going to know. Like my eyes are up here. Stop looking at my tornado. <laughs> Okay. I looked up information about this mushroom, and I do like this line. Okay. Because it sounds like a jab. 
It's <laughs> um, a real backhanded yeah. compliment. Yeah, what's about the, this mushroom? This mushroom slighted the person who wrote the, this Another article. Another helpful identification feature of the spindle shanks is their very wide gill spacing. Far wider than other quote unquote tough shanks. Oh, <laughs> these other tough shanks out here thinking they got gill spacing. Well. <laughs> check this check shit a, out. Check again, asshole. Yeah, you thought that was wide? You haven't seen gill you spacing. You don't even know what wide gill spacing is. <laughs> You're like is. a little baby. You're... Check this out. <laughs> check this out. What do the Euros wear? Clothes. What manner of clothing do so the Euros true. wear? What part of Euro? Cats. The, in general. They wear cat ears. Um, well, we know it's a cat. Right, that's true. Don't be foolish. What are they? What are they wearing over there? Oh, maybe if he's got yeah. like a like a newsy cap. Sure. They're all wearing shirts that say "I heart the Eu EU. I heart Europe." <laughs> That's just because you're from New York. You think everyone's got merch that says "I heart wherever I'm from." I mean, from. they try. It's yeah. the only way I'm allowed back into New York is if I'm wearing the shirt and they go, <laughs> "You've proven your love for the okay. state. You pass the test." Wait, do you love this place? Okay, I okay. see it on your shirt. I always should <clears throat> wear a uh, I Heart New York shirt. Just got to be from New York. You got to be from here. That's how you, that's how you can identify that's locals. How you, know. you can't truly love here. New York unless you live there. Yeah. <laughs> no one from not New York wears I Heart New York shirts. <laughs> well, they can't. They're not allowed. Yeah, yeah. it's illegal. They, if you try and buy one, the, the store owner will say, <laughs> wait a minute. Wait, let me look at you. <laughs> Hang I, on. Let me get proof of... I address before I, I can't legally sell you. You got a utility bill? <laughs> yeah, they're not, they're not actually allowed to be sold in New York. What happens is that one day a pigeon flies into your closed window uh -huh. and delivers you an I Heart New York shirt. Yeah, and you're like, oh my God, the window, it's happened. And the pigeon dies. Yeah. And then three rats eat it. It's got one messed up foot. Yeah. So this is sort of like a a torn a newsy tornado cat. Yeah, yeah. I I really like the face. Mm. This you guy drew. is cute. Yeah, he heard a good Euro beat coming out the club. I just I there was this one post I've been trying to find where I posted it in my group chat <laughs> that I keep thinking about. That's just all you need to make. Euro dance is one female vocalist, mediocre to incredible, one male mm -hmm. vocalist who cannot sing but says shit like, I am a sex king man with a party plan, international <laughs> na nation hand in hand, <laughs> in a deep voice in an apartment somewhere in Italy. <laughs> I'm a sex king man with a party plan. <laughs> the second part is in the 90s, if your band had two women, a sequencer, and a guy who spoke like a horny wolf, you were guaranteed <laughs> a run of club. <laughs> Excellent. I'm a sexy man with a party plan. <laughs> and the woman has to be saying something that like is actually when you think about it kind of really depressing. <laughs> You're just like, "What?" And then yeah. the guy comes in saying absolute nonsense. <laughs> Two women love touches my life. Life is full of love. Here's to love. Love tonight sequencer. Doom doom. <laughs> Horny wolf guy. Woman, I will touch you. Do you wish my touch? <laughs> I love hero dance. <laughs> Genuinely. <laughs> I've decided also that he's like. Where's the Euro dance? <laughs> he well, heard he, it. He's going over. Yeah, to I mean, the club. we we the Euro dance is audio. Is he the sexy wolf guy? I think he's yeah. He's the. This is like in the music video. <laughs> is he in Party Nation? When the sexy wolf guy comes up and is like, "I'm the sexy band with the party plan." That, this is like that part of the '90s video. And, and he the starts cameras, spinning really yeah, weirdly. He's like spinning, and the camera's like fish eyeing, and yeah, there's like bubbles. And there's really bad CGI to make it look like the the building is exploding or something because yeah, he's gonna spinning be like so hard, all so like hard. planets. <laughs> yeah. He's the center of the and, Milky Way and bubbles and whatnot. There we go. Now, the, it, okay, now I get is, it. This is the moon. Oh, he's on the moon. So these are like craters and stuff. After we finish recording, can we just watch a lot of Euro dance music videos, please? Yeah. 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 This is Euro Spindle, Spindle Shanks, Shanks. Caled 
Be Cowabunga. A, cowabunga. <laughs> cowabunga. Yep, sure is. <laughs> Can what's, I, what's, what's it look the real like? One? Show it. Okay. I hope it show also it. looks like a booba. Yeah. I hope, um, I hope they just look more and more like booba. <laughs> <laughs> no, it kind of just looks like a slightly meatier brown mushroom. Oh, that oh looks yeah. yummy. Can oh, you yeah. eat note, it? Note the wideness of the gill spacing. Dude, that's incredible. I've never <laughs> seen gill spacing like that. Yeah. <laughs> Unlike other tough shanks <laughs> <laughs> Karina do you want to draw a mushroom yeah okay do you want to draw a mushroom I see I am asked as I sit down to a canvas with a cat on it <laughs> a real sexy cat I'm honestly just happy you think he's sexy He's really cute. He's got a cute face with yeah, fun energy. Yeah, he is very cute, but like, don't get too vibe. cocky. I have low standards. <laughs> but he, I mean, he is a sexy man with a party plan. Yeah. That's so true. So. <laughs> I do want his touch. He will touch me. <laughs> <laughs> That's my mushroom. Karina. Yes. Tiny orange capped mycena. My, my son? Mycena. My sin. My like sin. John Cena. It's Italian for my son. My Cena. <laughs> my sins. My sins. Okay, my so. tiny orange capped Italian son. <laughs> Italian sins. <laughs> this is tiny. a very cute image in my mind already of this little fella. It's this beautiful tiny little fella. Tiny orange cap Italian son. Yeah. Italian sinful son. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. It's like your little sinful Italian son. You know the one. I know. The With the orange one. cap. Yeah. yeah. That's how you distinguish him from your other sons. Yeah. That are less, My less sons sinful. And less Italian. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know how this one ended up Italian. Yeah, that was unexpected. But not unwelcome. Yeah. The oh, sinfulness I'm... is what's unwelcome. Yeah. I love this little stance. Yeah, this is these are perfect shapes. He's so how you stand ground. when He's you're tiny. tiny. There's not I'm there's told. Less... I wouldn't know. I'm very tall. There's less ways to stand the tinier you get yeah just because there's not as much limb length to sort of do <laughs> poses with yeah jacob knows all about this because he is famously tiny yeah so i really when i stand like this is one of the poses i can do that you're, yeah. that you're drawing right now the other one is the same pose with my arms up yeah <laughs> <laughs> but not too far up or the little little ball hands will bump into your little ball <laughs> yeah face. you'll yeah. hurt yourself yeah that's all I can do. Tiny's modifying sun, but not orange hat. The orange hat can be any size. It's up to you, I guess, what yeah. it's modifying. Yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> Toad. From Mario? From Mario? I want to read this line from the wiki okay. on this mushroom. Okay. The cap sometimes has a small, abrupt umbo. Umba? Um, umba? 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 Umbo. 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 You got a little umbo, bud? He's got a little umbo. An abrupt umbo? He's got, that... He has a small, abrupt umbo, which is a <laughs> central bump. Umbo. <laughs> what is, how is it abrupt? It just kind of like... Boom. It's not It's not gradual. Wait, yeah, it's just it like to be... there. No, it's, it's central. Like <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's that, a small umbo. That was, okay. that was abrupt. I mean, but he's tiny. So like how? That? <laughs> yeah, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's like pushing out on the on the cap. Oh, yeah. I, I bet it's, he's embarrassed about it's a that. Bump. This is the plot of Fooly Cooly. I was gonna say that. Oh, no, no, Nathan. Secret. I've never watched Fooly Cooly. Well, it's, you're drawing it. Okay. Yeah. This is it. <laughs> this is Every basically so often what happens. I just reinvent Fooly Cooly. Yeah. The you, lady you can on watch the it sometime. Moped. I could, but it's only I am, six, six episodes I am long. Me is the problem. She, yeah, she that's hits true. him in the, his yeah, cap with her guitar, him, and then he has like a little guy. Yeah, he's a robot that comes out of his head bone. Yeah, the little TV guy. Little TV guy. And it's a metaphor for puberty. Oh. Yeah. Don't you know? Don't you know? <laughs> Don't you know? Yeah, well, as soon as he gets bonked, he looks right into the camera and says, it's a metaphor for puberty uh, and shrugs and goes, enjoy the rest of the series. Yeah. <laughs> You'll get it. You'll get it. It's there's a lot. Yeah. Just pay attention. Just pay attention. Maybe you'll have to rewatch it a couple times to really get what's happening. But it's just a metaphor for puberty. So yeah. the plot's not super important. It's more about the vibes. I feel like more shows and movies should tell you up front if they're going to be like like what you should be paying attention to yeah like if someone came out and was like listen this one sort of a vibe piece yeah um the story you don't really need to like try don't work too hard on like understanding it just sort of like enjoy 
And then I'd go in in the right headspace. Right. But then some, they need to come out and be like, okay, listen, the story is complicated, but it's really important. So for this one, just make sure you pay a lot of attention. Yeah. Why don't they do that? Media is too subtle. <laughs> it for, is. For me, it's not enough to like go online and watch a recap or an explainer. I want it to happen while I'm watching the thing. I so, want one of the characters to, to break character, Yeah. look at me, Say my name to me. <laughs> Say Nathan. <laughs> Nathan, hey, there's some exposition coming here. So just so put, don't put your phone down. Put your phone down for this part, okay? <laughs> All right, it's down. No, keep no? trying. Okay, come on, finish writing your text. Just, we worked really hard on this part, so yeah. we really just want you to watch this bit. There's a cool visual sequence coming up, but also there's some some important plot points. Nathan. Nathan. Why don't they do that? Why don't they do that? Imagine how much more people could get out of it. Yeah. People being me, Nathan. Yeah. Imagine how much more Nathan could get out of it. <laughs> Karina, I like this hat shape you've drawn because the wiki does say that when this mushroom is young, it is just convex shaped. But then when it matures, it becomes more bell shaped. This is a mature fella. That's why he sins so much. Mature son. It also mature. says <laughs> my mature son <laughs> in the article that he doesn't look a thing like Jesus, but he acts like a gentleman, wow. like you imagined him. Wow, you were hey. young, <laughs> <laughs> you motherfucker. <laughs> uh -huh. It's because you said when when it was young, and that's what you said, and then I did the song. Yes, yeah, the song that goes when you were young. No, that's not even, that's <laughs> since you've been gone. <laughs> he was convex for the first time. No, Jacob was talking about the one with uh, Janelle Monet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. It's about the sunglasses on the table or something, and there's, uh, they were young. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So for this part of the episode, <laughs> yes. this is me looking out at you, the audience. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, hey, Kevin. Kevin. If, if Kevin. You're watching, I know you're watching this one, Kevin. For this part of the episode, you need to have knowledge of three uh, musical artists, the Killers, Janelle Monet, and Kelly Clarkson, and their sort of catalog. And if you go through some of that, I think you'll really appreciate that bit we just did. So feel free to go back and pause, go check some of that stuff out, and then you can come back and continue the episode. Yeah. I'll warn you if there's anything else you need to know, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Thanks, Kevin. Can I do a song reference? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But warn Kevin. Okay, Kevin, I'm gonna do a song reference. I write tiny orange capped my sins, not tiny <laughs> orange capped <laughs> tragedies. <laughs> I think your friendship with Karina has also ended today. I made Jacob laugh, so. I didn't hate it. It just, it's just a lot. I liked it. Kevin, did you like it? Kevin, Kevin, let be us know. sure to let us know. That one's Panic at the Disco, Kevin. So yeah. if you weren't sure, look them up. Yeah. And really, you should just be listening to more music. Yeah. in general like These expand. are all pop songs that were on the radio. Yeah, they were all huge. So I, if you could, you know, just. Why does he look like he's about to slap me? <laughs> Maybe he is. Going over. Got his hand out. Got his hand out. That's one of his sins. He's good at You gonna... looking at my bump, my umbo? My, my abrupt umbo? <laughs> you looking at my abrupt umbo? Okay, what, what makes him more sinful? What's the matter? Too abrupt for you? He's got the scarlet <laughs> letter. <laughs> He's an adulterer. <laughs> my tiny son is an adulterer. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> You can't do that. The Bible says no. <laughs> That's why you're going to hell, sweaty. <laughs> hey, you talking about my adultery? <laughs> or my umbo. Or my umbo. Make up your mind. <laughs> my umbo adultery? I don't know where I went with this. You want to know how I got this umbo? <laughs> <laughs> Let me show you. <laughs> Nobody cared who I was until I got the umbo. <laughs> what makes him more sinful? Kevin, that was a reference to uh, the Batman. The Dark Knight specifically. <laughs> the uh, the Heath Ledger's Joker performance. Yeah. He was referring to his scars yeah, in not... the original line. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But, but could you imagine 
he had a little umbo instead. Yeah, if that was his <laughs> if design. That was his thing. Yeah, if that was the, the sort of There's one visual Batman direction. He just has one lump on his head. And it looks like this is him. This is him. This is the yeah. Batman villain. <laughs> little umbo or whatever his name is. <laughs> Tiny <laughs> orange <Umbo>. cap. <laughs> What's another sin? Can everyone go around in a circle and name your favorite sin? Sloth. Tax evasion. Sloth. Lust. Tax evasion. Lust. <laughs> We already have lust represented. Where? Well, isn't, the adultery. Isn't the oh, adultery. Right. Oh, yeah. Well, I was, didn't know if that was like envy. I guess it depends what's on why second? he did it. Okay, that's yeah, fair. Yeah, what's that's your fair. second favorite? Depends on his motivation. Gluttony. Uh, wrath is pretty cool. I guess maybe okay. the open hand is a, a wrathful hand. Yeah. My oh, no. hand is, is a wrathful hand. hand. <laughs> What's that a reference to? It's a reference to a like a church song. Yeah. <laughs> Our God is an awesome God. Sure is. So you can look what that one doing? up if you want, but Kevin. I don't know how often it's going to come up. It's not as popular as the other songs we reference. No. <laughs> yeah. Well, maybe in certain circles it is. Yeah. I don't know I'm sure it's on Spotify. Yeah. Affiliations, yeah. Kevin. Yeah, there are probably a few different covers of that one. Yeah. Probably public domain at this point. I'm gonna look up lesser sins. Oh, mm. the not, sins that need more attention. Not deadly, just no. These are venial sins. Mm. Mm -hmm. What does venial mean? Don't know, Kevin. You're an do you English know? English major, Kevin. If you know, know let us know. Like this. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks, Nathan. Okay, so venial is literally just a word that means denoting a sin that is not regarded as depriving the soul of divine grace. Yeah, that do not destroy one's relationship with God. Uh, it can be uh, a mortal sin cannot be committed accidentally, willfully, or pretended ignorance of divine law, blah, blah, blah. So we can do as many venial sins as we want. Yeah. yeah. Way ahead of you, dude. <laughs> 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 For instance, if one were to steal small amounts of property from a particular person, okay, <laughs> over time, just one, a little bit of stealing yeah, as careful, a treat, because over time one would have stolen enough that it would develop into a serious theft, and then it's no longer venial. So you, so you got to steal little bits from lots of people. yeah, different people. Yeah. Do you think all three of our characters are going to the same potluck? <laughs> He's bringing. <laughs> burning tax returns <laughs> he's starting the the bonfire at the yeah. potluck yeah and he's gonna eat that entire potluck mm -hmm. yeah that's gluttony yeah but i almost mixed it up with sloth and said gluttony <laughs> <laughs> we most... all commit a little bit of gluttony that's you know what i mean super sin that's yeah. a turbo yeah. sin you can't do that <laughs> that sends you to super <laughs> so many sluttons in super hell. That's why Castiel got sent there because he committed sluttony. <laughs> Amazing. I need to stop. Yeah, this is great. This is really um, good. To wow. indicate his his Italianness. Yeah. Does his my, hat say sluttony on favorite it? Favorite letter. My name is Slut Tony. <laughs> 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 Why are you laughing? That's the traditional Italian name. <laughs> this is my son, Slatoni. Slatoni, named after his grandfather. Hey, oh, Slatoni, oh no, you did adultery, Slatoni. Who could have predicted this, Slatoni? <laughs> You are just like your grandfather for whom you are named. <laughs> Do you want to see this oh, little guy? I want to see the umbo. Yeah, show me his umbo. Well, this one doesn't have an umbo, but here's the... Aw, it's oh, cute. Oh, yeah, they're nice. Yeah. yeah. That's just a nice little guy. Yeah, they're really cute. That's a cute one. That guy's kind of weird. Nothing like Slatoni. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Once again, we've truly brought some new shit into this world. <laughs> uh, amazing. Oh my god, we should make one of those like baby doll tees with the rhinestones and it says slutney. <laughs> slutney. <laughs> We should make um we should make booty shorts that say that across the yeah. back. Yeah. Let us know if you would buy one hundred of those. 
in the comments <laughs> down below. If you would buy less than that, we don't want to hear from you. Yeah, yeah who are you? Kevin. <laughs> Kevin. Kevin. We know you don't. It's not your style. <laughs> but uh, if you don't want a Slatoni piece of merch, we got other merch. Yeah. Links in the description. Yeah. Uh, just our store is at DFTBA. Yeah. But if you want to see us draw other things, please write it down below in the comments, or you can support us on Patreon and tell us directly. We also stream on Twitch, 7 p.m. Eastern time on Mondays. That's where the true slutney happens. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Truly. 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 I think that's it. We're sorry. Very sorry. 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 sorry.